We collect popcorn buckets. But what I collect more than popcorn buckets is anything with figment. Epcot's annual Festival of the Arts began just a few days ago on Friday, January 14th. The biggest news of the festival was that for the first time ever, at least as far as I was able to research, Disney would be releasing a figment-themed popcorn bucket. But they were only being sold at a single festival booth called Pop Eats, and currently only at the Festival of the Arts. However, this may change in the future. This has not been stated yet. Naturally, on the first day, the line was reaching upwards of seven to 10 hours, depending on the news source. However, a lot of people were reporting that festival organizers were assuring guests that Disney had purchased enough popcorn buckets to last the entire festival. Unfortunately, as of Monday, only four days into the festival, the dreaded sign was posted stating, Figment Premium Popcorn Buckets Currently Unavailable. And in some Figment themed social media groups, members are reporting that some park managers are saying that they don't know when or even if the popcorn buckets will be restocked before the end of the festival. I'm not going to fake like I'm surprised, but I am very disappointed for two reasons. One, because this is just bad planning on Disney's part. They knew that this was going to be the most popular item that they have ever sold. Not to mention, the current supply chain issues in this country pretty much guarantee that they won't be able to get any more in if they're not already in the warehouse. And two, because we're headed to Disney on Friday, one week after the Festival of the Arts began and one week after the first ever Figment popcorn bucket went on sale at Disney World. Constant reports were running rampant of eBayers bringing in their multi-person groups and buying 20, 30, and more popcorn buckets and immediately posting them on eBay as they were standing in line. Then after they bought their two popcorn buckets, they'd hand them off and then they'd circle around and hop right back in line to buy two more. And this continued on throughout the day for the first four days of the festival. Some had no shame at all posting pictures of their massive hauls while in the park and posting them to social media. Does anyone else see anything wrong with this? Why does Disney not take steps to prevent this? I just want one. Just one. Currently, their rule is two per customer. Why two when they know this will be one of the most sought after items that they've ever sold? I don't know, but currently it's two per person. So what can we do about this? Off the top of my head, I came up with two easy ways with the technology that Disney currently uses to at least get ahead of the scalpers. The first way, Disney could have guests scan their park ticket, annual pass, or magic band, all linked to the same account, when they purchase their popcorn bucket. Once you've bought your maximum of two buckets, a red flag will pop up in the system that says you've already bought your allotment. The next way, if they don't necessarily want to go the technology route, how about handing a redemption voucher to each guest good for two buckets as the person scans into the park for the first time that day. When ordering your bucket, you must hand over the voucher to the cashier. And since the ticket person at the gate already has an electronic device showing whether you've already scanned into the park today, hence being given one voucher, this could prevent you from leaving and then coming back to constantly grab more vouchers throughout the day. There you go. Two easy ways to prevent the overbuying and scalping of the figment popcorn buckets. Are they perfect? No. Are they something? Absolutely and there's something that they could implement right now. I'm hoping that their pre-planned sales strategy all along is since it's the first weekend of the festival and they want to create a media buzz with long lines, that they sold the buckets hard for the first four days. But for the remainder of the festival, they'll have a finite number of buckets available each day. Meaning, once they're out for the day, they won't restock until tomorrow. Kind of like they do with Starbucks mugs, pins, and a lot of other popular merchandise. Fingers crossed. Were you looking forward to buying one of these popcorn buckets? Were you disappointed when they sold out so quickly? Do you think that's it? Or will they restock? Put it in the comments below. We'll be following this closely and keeping our fingers crossed when we visit this weekend. But until next time, remember, no capes.